Hi everyone, my name is Joy and I am a PhD researcher in molecular microbiology. I am based in St. Michael's building at the University of Portsmouth and I'd like to share with you what I get up to in a week. But first, how did I end up being where I am at today? I graduated with a master's in pharmacy back in 2018 and qualified as a pharmacist in 2019. Between my third and fourth year of my undergraduate degree, I had the opportunity to go to Warsaw in Poland for my Erasmus student exchange. It was there when I realized how much I enjoyed working at the bench and that's when I decided to embark on a PhD journey after I qualified. Come join me on a very fun week. So this is what my week looks like. I have to be really organized with my time because of the intensity of my project. So everything is color coordinated by the activity. On Monday, I started out with a two hour session with the Women's Enterprise Program about time management. It was at the Portsmouth Central Library by Guildhall and a fantastic opportunity to network with other women. I learned about how to create mind maps and lists to help me prioritize my work, as well as knowing when to delegate and defer to other members of the team. Next up, I had a cast call. I know, why on earth is Joy in an acting role? Well, it's because I am one of the student ambassadors for the university and they were looking for students to feature in their new video production. I ended up getting a supporting role for the short film and let's just stay, I'll stay in my science field. I founded and run a small business called With Extraordinary Grace, which I nickname WEG because it is quite the mouthful. I created With Extraordinary Grace as a zero waste fundraiser project and donate all my profits to Hope For Charity. Here, I'm wrapping a gift order up. I'm back in the lab on Tuesday. Most weeks, I work a full nine to six kind of day with the occasional need for a evening or weekend experiment. In my PhD, I have many opportunities to work with other people. So far in this academic year, I have trained up and worked with two masters of research postgraduate students and three undergraduate biomedical students. In my area of research, I'm looking at a particular protein of interest on the cell membrane of the gram-negative bacteria cell. We use E. coli in our lab because it is a cheap bacterial model as well as being relatively safe to work with. Here I am diluting my samples into a different growth block under a Bunsen burner to make sure things are kept under aseptic conditions. Every Wednesday afternoon I attend the Enterprise Programme. It is a 10-week programme discussing all things enterprise, such as marketing, time management, sustainability and mindset. I learn a lot in each session. That same day, I was part of the postgraduate virtual open evening as a student ambassador. I was part of the PhD research desk as well as the student panel for the evening. That Wednesday was also my birthday. I am really grateful for a husband who can cook very well and very healthily as well. He made us a pan fried crispy skin salmon on a bed of vegetables in a tomato sauce. Wow, and it was delicious. On Thursday, I had another student ambassador shift. Begin your future. It was a one day experience day for year 12 students to inspire them to apply to university. We gave them a tour of the whole university, but what was the most interesting for me was Elden Building. They have a really cool VR and XR stage where you can change the background, change the scenery, as well as the camera angles. Very advanced stuff. And then on Friday, I do a weekly reflection of what we've done throughout the week. I normally make sure to use this day to tie up any loose ends, be it replying to emails, refilling our pipette tip racks, empty the bins in the lab, and sending things for autoclave to be sterilized. This particular Friday, I had a meeting with my biomedical students who had finished their time of bench work with us. I showed them the very long and tedious process on how to quantify the results. One thing I've definitely learned in my PhD is to keep track of everything. All the data, all the numbers, everything. As if my full-time PhD isn't busy enough, I do all things WEG related in my spare time. 
I think it's important to have a creative outlet when you have such a stressful and intense time indoors in the lab. My fundraising small business with Extraordinary Grace has allowed me to meet up with other locals at markets, network with other businesses at small business events, as well as what I call having fun in the fundraising. These are the type of designs that I make, always unique, always interesting. And that is what an interesting week of mine looks like. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope to see you around next time.